everybody, it's, hey everybody, it's Hannah at the Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana, and sorry, I had a little bit of a weird connection there for a minute, so hopefully, um, I'm popping up on your guys' screen and everything okay. So, today, on our What's New at the Doodle Bug Live, um, so, we've got Echo Park to show you today, and then I also have that Canadian distributor that you guys love, because it's got such unique different things and hard to find things. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Now, in, in the meantime, I do want to tell you a little bit about some of the stuff I got done yesterday. So you may have noticed that in your emails yesterday, you guys got the February retreat. So the February retreat is now open and it's going to be on 17th, 18th, night. yeah, 17th, 18th, 19th. You can either sign up online and pay through PayPal or you can call into the store, 812-482-4949, and then you can pay over the phone. And if you do an early bird payment by December 29th, and that is cash or check only, you'll save 10 bucks. So if you know you're going, um, send me a check, stop in, you know, go to the bank first, do cash, whatever works best for you, um, and then bring that on in. Send it on in, and we will get you signed up for that February retreat. So really, really excited about that. A couple other things, too. Um, I got our holiday hours all updated and posted. So you'll see those here on the website at the top little banner up there. Um, we're going to be reduced hours after Christmas, but we're still going to be open. Um, we'll be gearing up for some, you know, just taking a little, little time off. Um, also doing some inventory, all that kind of good stuff. What else did I get done yesterday? I know there's a couple other emails I got done, sent out, um, pre-order stuff. So you'll see some of those coming through. So lots, lots of fun stuff. And um, don't forget, there's plenty of time, you know, uh, to send your loved ones in, do your wish list, all that kind of good stuff. So let's go ahead. I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to check out some new stuff. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's start with Echo Park first. How about that? So Echo Park, some new collection kits that we just got in. This one is called Forward with Faith. This is a previously released line. And in this one, they did kind of condense down the papers just a little bit. I mean, I think they may have been out of stock on one of them. So they did kind of a little duplicate of a few others but this was such a super popular line and then it sold out and was gone so they have brought it back i think just not the entire line and it's only in collection kits so we've got that one that just came in this one is called it's your birthday so really great fun colors there lots of great primaries and then here is the sticker sheet actually let's just turn it over See the sticker sheet much better. Here we go. All right. Next is the girl version. Super cute. And then the sticker sheet. Really fun. Then these are brand new ones, just restocking. So welcome fall. That was probably our biggest seller of all of our fall lines. And then here's the oops, here's the back side of that one. So you can see the sticker sheet. And then snowed in. This is their new winter release. We got this in the other day, but all of those collection kits already sold out. So we got them back in. It's a really pretty line. I like the colors in this one. Letters to Santa. Again, this is not a new line. It's just a restock because we were sold almost completely out. There's the sticker sheet. Do, 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 do. Really fun little stickers there too. And then the last one is the gnome for Christmas. And this one, if you are not in the gnomes, the back sides of all the ones that have gnomes do not have gnomes. I, I personally, I do love gnomes, but I just really love the colors in this line. All right, that's my Echo Park order. Now let's check out the fun stuff on the other side of the table. Oh, couple, one more little thing. Stickles, green stickles came in. 
All right, so starting off with that Canadian distributor, we've got some stamp sets right here I want to show you. So this one here is one of the, uh, the Fuzzy Friends line that they do from Woodware. This one is called Reindeer Fuzzy, Festive Fuzzies for this one. Festive Fuzzies Reindeer. And then we've got this little guy here, a little bit of a smaller stamp. This one here is Festive Funny, Festive Fuzzies. Good gracious, say that five times fast. Mini Reindeer. Well, that makes sense. I was, like, cause I was thinking, what are they going to call this one? Mini Reindeer. I wonder if this is Mini Santa then. Uh, let's see here. This one is Mini Santa. Yes. And look at this cute little guy here. You guessed it, Mini Snowman. <laughs> so those are fun. Then this is a really neat one here. It's a nice long one. But again, remember, if you're only doing like A2 size cards, you can mask or just stamp off. So it is a nice slimline size, but you wouldn't have to use it in its entirety. You could stamp it off and still use it on your A2. <coughs> Excuse me. This one is called Butterfly Cascade. So there's that one around i got some stuff i want to sample for you all right coming around to the other side got some fun little shaker stuff in and then some fun shakers so these are shaker blisters they are not overly crazy thick either you've got 10 of them in here and this one here is going to make a small star and then we have a large star so to make it really easy and fun to do your shaker cards we did a large circle and then we've got a heart as well. And then here are some of the shaker elements that we just got in. This one here is called Shake Four. <laughs> oh, here we go, Spring Garden. I'm like, it's gotta have a name. All right, and Spring Garden has little bitty circles. It's kind of a uh, pale pastel pink, and then circles in a peach. This next one, that green color, those are little butterflies. Then this pink color, little hearts. This white has a little yellow center, and those are daisies. Now, I don't think the blisters would be too thick for scrapbook pages. Um, but Daisy, I, you know, I'm okay with a lumpy page, but they are not really thick at all. Like, let me, let me kind of, oh, this is not good. You really can't tell in there, but to me, it's looking like they're about maybe that thick. So definitely not too thick for for a scrapbook page no more so than like pop dots i don't think it's any thicker than than pop dots if that helps all right so we've got the little and, and it would be really cool on a scrapbook page too actually that would be neat that's a great idea daisy um this one here the little white ones they've got a little um yellow center so it's a little flowers and this one here on the end if you can see can you tell what those are friends those are little bitty bees oh my gosh i just love them so that is the spring garden and then the next one is called love language so we've got little red hearts little teeny tiny um no those aren't hearts i lied we do have red hearts but these here are just little bitty um like squares and rectangles like confetti there we go so little red confetti pink confetti black little circles white hearts here's the reddish pink hearts that say love you and then this one here is like little bitty letters so that you can't see. I'm not looking at my phone. I'm looking at the actual product and you guys can't see it. It's too close. There we go. All right. So that is love language. Then I'm going to stick, kind of jump over to this little guy here. This is a pickup tool. Um, one end, it has a kind of put it where you want it side but it's not, um, it's not sharp, it's not pointed. That way, whenever you're putting that rhinestone or whatever down, you're kind of moving that little sequin, whatever, you're not gonna poke your paper and leave a hole. So it's got a little pickup tool on that side, and then this side has a little sticky end. Now, I also got in tips that you can add to the end of those tools, and really anything that's got a little, um, screw on the end of it as well you could screw this in and they're little replacement sticky tips now while we're talking sticky we also got back in sticky specs yay for sticky specs um what is a sticky spec so sticky spec is a sheet of teeny teeny tiny micro little dots 
And so you can put your very delicate items onto this, give it a rub, and then peel it off and you get these little tiny specks everywhere. These are really nice, like for background dyes that are intricate. You can put the whole background in here, put the paper back on, rub it, pull it off, and then peel out your item and then you it's of course it's going to use up certain areas but you can continue to move your items around to use up all the little micro dots until they're gone we sell these really well we have a lot of people um, that have used them and can't find them in other stores you're not going to find them in the box stores either and so then like they'll call in or you know read an online order and they wipe us out of all of them um, just because it's, it's one of those items they can't find and so when they find it they just wipe us out so definitely if you want to try sticky specs grab these because they're back in stock on the site and um, once i get done with the live with this everything will be online i'll get that all added in online i want to jump on here really quick since i was running a little late for my live anyway this little guy here now this came in as a special order but i can order it for you if you are wanting one and this is a little dolphin with um some like coral you know seaweed whatever you want to call it here this here is a really cute little dots and stripes eight by eight pad see those there brush scrubber cleaners for your blending brushes more die cut and bond love this stuff we got in so our glitter kiss section is now fully stocked between the past two orders that we just got in this color here is called dark bronze let me see if i can should have i always how i get so excited to come back here and of course you know me I'm always running like, you know, 25 minutes behind. Um, so I always think, oh, I should have unscrewed one of these beforehand. And I did not. So let me see here. That one was just really tight anyway. Okay. So what these look like on the inside, if you haven't seen these before, they're like a glitter paste. Super, super pretty. Um, and these are really cool because they have an applicator that comes with them. You can also, you know, use it with a brush or anything like that, but there's a little sponge tip applicator in here. And so you pop that little sponge out. Sorry, I can do it regular handed. And I have, I'm so old, I have arthritis in my thumbs, so it makes it really hard to pop it. So there's a little sponge applicator there. And then you can go through a stencil. You can go on top of something that has been embossed. You can completely cover something to give it just that cover. I've also made some really cute, fun little card fronts, just dots, using a couple different colors and doing the little dots from the applicator tool. That's even fun. Another color we got in, this is called Silver Chrome Kiss. And then two different kind of tealy blues. This one is called Ice Blue Kiss. And then this one here, a little bit darker, a little bit more aqua to it, is called Ocean Spray Kiss. So those just came in. Pick up tools. Oh, the little baby applicators are back in stock. This is one of the only places I can find these. So those are back in stock. This is another special order, but again, if you love it, I can get one for you as well. This one is called In the Sea, and it's stamps with little matching dies to cut them out. And you've got your dolphin, seahorse, a little narwhal, and then the dies appear to match. Oh, this. I am so excited to show you this. So I know so many of you ask about stamping platforms. And so popular ones or names you may know Tim Holtz has, has um, a stamping platform. He just cannot sell it here in the United States. So I know some of you have ordered it from overseas because that was the one that you want. Um, the copyright does not extend overseas, so that's why he can still sell his over there. Then another popular one is called the Misty. She, um, My Sweet Petunia has one called the Misty. That's a great one. I normally have that one in just found this one though so some friends of mine 
gave me a little heads up about this on the site because this Canadian distributor site is not always the easiest thing to shop and it's 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 they're a big distributor I think they're one of the biggest ones in Canada so they told me a little bit about this and I was just like hmm, I'm gonna check it out so it comes with magnets little round ones it's got a nice foam on the bottom so you've got a good solid surface and a little extra cushion it's got a little cushion that comes in here or you can take that out and you've got a grid and you also have a nice hinged area here so i did bring back a little stamp just grab this we're gonna check it out here okay so how to use this little guy I don't know if this is really going to work. I was just going to do something with something else. And I'm like, oh, well, let's try it on here now. So your magnets are going to hold your paper in place. Okay. And I did not plan to do this. So bear with me here. All right. So you do have little rulers right there and right there. All right. And then I'm just going to stick this little guy right here. So this is a cling stamp. I'm going to put it where I want it. And then I'm going to close the door. All right. And that is going to pick up my stamp for me. So now it's there. We just got in some new inks. And that's actually what I was going to show you on here is some of the little new inks we just got in. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this guy up just to show you here. Okay. So now it's nice and inked. I'm going to close the door. And see, I'm not even, you know, like I told you, I didn't plan to do this. I don't even have my little stamp smoothie back here or nothing. It's going to rub right in that spot, and it's going to stamp right there for me. So if you want it darker, you're going to put more ink on here again, like so. And you're going to stamp again, just like so. And what's nice about a stamp platform is that it will stamp in the exact, look how much darker that is now. It's going to stamp in the exact same spot. You're not going to be able to line up perfect when you're using this regular clear block. So this little stamp platform here is it's it is great. And let me show you the price on this guy. Thirty one ninety nine, friends. That's that's more than half the price of some competitive ones. So that's why I'm so excited to show these to you. Um, I've got. I, you know, again, my first time using them, so I didn't want to go too crazy deep because I was afraid to. What if it was crap? You know, and then I'm great. I, I don't want to sell you crap. Um, so I got four in right now, and I can always order more if those sell out. But this, if you don't have a stamping platform, or maybe you want a second one just to keep in your travel bag, this is going to be a great little stamp platform for you. Now, how is it different? It does not have a ruler all the way around, which might be how they can get by with the copyright thing. I, I really don't know. Um, but so we have an alternative now for you or another choice for a stamping platform. So super excited about those. Just got those in. And I even got to show you a little bit, too, of some ink pads that we've got coming up. So let's just jump to those right now. Now, ink pads, these are a little five pack and they're in a shade family which i think is great so you, we've got shades of purple shades of blue shades of i can't remember this was yellow or orange doo, 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 doo. Ah, i think this was shades of yellow is what that one was called shades of yellow shades of red shades of brown shades of green and you just saw how it stamped i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie it is not the best you know, ink for, you know, large surface stamping or anything like that, but you get five of them for seven bucks. So it's, or seven fifty. So it's not a crazy expensive ink by any means, but I got it in because I wanted to see the pads looked almost a little foamier than our felt pads. So you can ink on your edges. Let's check that out. 
because I know a lot of us really miss our cat eyes and our chalk um, inks that we used to be able to get. And whenever you have a felt pad, there we go, it's a little better. I would like to get a little closer so you guys can see, but it's, it's gonna get all fuzzy. Um, whenever you have a felt pad, you get that really harsh edge. And with these, they have a little bit more of a foamier pad, just like how those little cat eye cubes, and cat eyes are like they were a cat eye, little cat eye inks used to. And so you do get that nice creamier edge for inking your edges. And that's kind of why I wanted to check them out when I saw them on the site. The pad looked nice and spongy, just like the ones that we used to use it. So I am fairly pleased with those. And you saw how they stamp. And there they are on the edges too. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, so going back to where we're at. We just did our cute little stamping buddy there works great and it's got two magnets in there if you want more magnets we also sell what's called nelly's magnetic bars and, and they're already trying to stick in there so in here you have two little magnets and they are super strong there we go they are stuck there we go and they will work in here as well too and they will work in your tim holtz and they will work in your misty too so those are also those nice little rare earth magnets dang on it little turds magnets don't like to always work together <laughs> i can't get them back they want to keep clinging now if i can find what size was there we go I had to find my sides um you get two of them in here for nine bucks so before when I would order in other ones that I would find, you would get one magnet for like 10. So I am very pleased with these magnets and for the price as well too. So if you've lost your magnets or if you've dropped them and they broke because these are the neodymium, the, the rare earth ones, if you drop them or click, clip them together too hard, they will break. That just happens. And if that's happened, I mean, magnets aren't one of those things that if you drop it, you can bring it back in and return it. Or I can even get credit for it. A lot of times magnets don't have a warranty like that. Uh, but at least this way, if you've broken some of yours, two of them for nine bucks, that's a great deal. All right, so let's put this little guy to the side here. All right, next up, some easy toppers have been re restocked. Everyone loves the little easy toppers because they come in their own little bags. So you don't have to pop them out. They're already popped out for you. And each bag is already separated for you as well. So this one here is the watering cans. So flowers in watering cans. So nice little spring bou bouquets here. And you're going to get 10 different die cuts in that one. This next one, this is not a new one, okay? So for my gnome lovers, you may already have these in your stash. I have had these once before. These are called Gnomes with Doors Christmas. So you're going to make 10 of these little guys. I'm going to turn it over just so you can see. They are decent size as well. So they make super cute little gift tags. They're really good little card fronts as well too. Really, really fun. So Gnomes with Doors. This is another one we have had this one in before. This is called Condolence Crosses. They're just really good little crosses. Okay, next up, this one here is called Snowmen. And they do have a little bit of glitter and foil on them, if you can kind of see that shimmering. This one here is another snowman. So now we've got two different snowmans, and they're both called snowmen. So this is the um, 8134, and then this is 7825. So depending which one you want, these are a little more, almost kind of vintagey looking. I'll turn them over here so you can see. There's that one. So this is the 25, and here's a 34. I don't know. I think maybe the front just made it look a little more vintage. -y. I think they're both stinking cute. Just different designs. So uh, you, if you love snowmen, you just need them all. You just need both. 
All right, next stop, or next up here, is Christmas Mooses. Cute little moose. And then this one here is called Winter Gnomes. These are brand new. So my gnome lovers, you don't have these yet if you got them from me. Um, this is my first time having them in here. So are these not adorable? And I was even like, well, some of them could be used for like, that could be a birthday gnome or even a Valentine's Day gnome. Not necessarily, you know, I mean, gnomes always wear little winter kind of hats. So a lot of them I think can be used for lots of other things as well and there you can kind of see the colors on them too and again they are nice size gnomes so there is the winter gnomes next up we've got from lisa lisa horton oh there it i've got something else from her that's why i'm kind of stumbling there i want to find the other thing so from lisa horton this is her poinsettia um, embossing folder with dye to match and then I also got in her stencil brushes. She has really great detail stencil brushes. You got it, Miss Abby. Winter gnomes being pulled to the side for you. You're going to love those. Next up, these are some of those that used to be called, well, different companies, of course, call them different things, but like class appeals. These are star forms. Elizabeth Crafts had a line for a while, but they're just a really fun little sticker sheet, super glittery, and it is a uh, non-shed glitter. It's got a seal on top of it, and these are gold um, glitter hearts with a silver edge to them. And then same thing, but in red with a gold edge. So these will be fun just for your Valentine's Day crafts coming up, putting on your envelopes even. They'll be really fun for those. Dabbers back in stock. Having more of those. These are fun for inking your edges as well. So we were talking about the pads in these. So if you have lots of nice little cubes that you love and you want to ink your edges with them, but they are felt pads, you just need these little guys. They've got a nice little sponge tip to them. So you just take them right into the ink pad on that felt pad. And then you can use this through a stencil. You can rub the edges to get that nice little distressed look on the side. They fit on your fingertips, so they're easy to work with. And then we even have little storage cases that you can store them in. You do not need one for every color. I usually recommend um, one or two per color family. So, you know, um, one for your black, one for your browns, one for grays, um, one or two for your pinks and reds, you know, your yellows and oranges, one for each of those. So you don't have to have one for every single color that you have, but it is nice to have a couple per, per color family. Those in, um, we had a special order for some red envelopes. And I've got an extra pack here above and beyond that. So if you're still working on your Christmas cards or thinking ahead to Valentine's Day, we've got a pack of 25. The, the color is called Red Hot. This little guy here is a heat resistant mat and it's nice and slick so you can even do your ink bleeding on here. So this is just a nice little work surface to roll out. But again, it's heat resistant so you can also um, put your hot glue gun on here and you can also put your embossing um, gun on here and heat emboss onto this. And here's the best part, friends. It is 10 bucks. It's a nice size mat in here too. It's a, it's a decent size mat. And it's only 10 bucks. So super good little deal on that. There are those inks we already looked at there. I had someone in the other day that was looking for um, tag dies. And she just did not see anything that she liked. But she said she would be coming back. So I tried to get a bunch more to hopefully find something that she liked. So this one here. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 different size tags in here they all have a really fun little pierced edge it's going to cut with them and you also get reinforcers and two little hole punches in there as well too so this will do your reinforcer and then it will you can put this right into the die as you're cutting it or cut it out later either way so i think that's kind of how it comes to the little reinforcers so there's that set there so this one here is 
Stitched Straight Tag 2. You get all those for 14 bucks. This next one here, it's more, it's got a, a shape to it. And this is just called Tags. And you've got one, two, three, four, five tags. And then again, a hole punch and a couple different reinforcers there that you can cut out too. And then I even got these here. These are called sweet rounded tags. So you've got three different tags in here. It's going to give you a little stitched edged and that really pretty little eyelet look at the top of those. Those are $17.89. This one here is just a good little shape die set. So you've got, you know, one that will do just the outside, and then you can do another one with it to make a frame. Got some little rectangles in here, too. So just a cute little shape die. It's called Scalloped Shape. Um, that is just 10 bucks for that one. And you can kind of see on the back there, too. And the next one is Ovals. So all kinds of nested ovals. You've got one that's stitched, one with eyelets, one that has kind of a blanket little edge there, um, a plain one, a stitched one, and an eyelet, kind of that little blankety edge, a plain one, and a stitched one. So all kinds of ovals in this set here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Looks like nine different ones in there for 20 bucks. So that's a great deal on that one. Some more shaker stuff. So these were really fun because it has a die that matches and they do little snow globes. How cute is that? So you've got a snow globe right here. Um, it's $15.29 for your snow globe. And then here are the inserts and they are $6.59 for 10 of them. So fun, easy, quick shaker cards. A new little stencil called Entwined Hearts. These are restocks, but they have been sold super quick since our last order with them, so I got them back in. These are Diamond Sparkles. This one here is called Rainbow. And they look beautiful on camera and even better in person. Then we have Twilight. Okay. And then we have Diamond. Oh, sorry, vintage. They are diamond. Vintage. Vintage tones. And last but not least, a nice big pack of red and pink enamel. As we're in Christmas and going into Valentine's Day, too, for one of our next snow globe dye and shakers you got at Miss Sarah. I will put it with your special orders, my friend. So a nice big set. You know, like, like I said, right now we're in Christmas mode, but we're going to be going into Valentine's Day mode pretty soon, too. So got those there. All right, and I think, I think that is, that concludes. Yes, and I was about to say something and I totally, I just spaced myself. I don't know, think about it here. Oh, I know what it was. Okay, so I went to do the live today and Facebook was telling me they've got this new thing with stars. So I had to do something to set up and enable stars. I don't know if you guys see anywhere on your screen something about stars and what you have to do. I don't know. It's kind of like one of those things. We're supposed to try and capture stars from our audience. I don't know if it's kind of like the like button, the heart button, or what that is. So I don't know what you guys are seeing on your screen if you see anything with, with stars. Um, I I really don't. I have no idea what what that is so if you see it on your end maybe just leave me a little comment or, or if you know anything about what these stars are let me know i don't know i had to do a couple different things to set them up um heck i don't know so anyway that's what i was going to ask because i see it on my end here i have my stars enabled so just just so you know i guess my stars are enabled and it's it's a big deal um but i'm gonna walk on up here real quick and i'm gonna give you a little teaser um, some other things that we, oh, I wonder what that was. So yes, there is a star, but it looks like there is a fee. Are you serious? Oh, that is stupid. Well, then I am going to take away my stars. That's so dumb. God. Oh, Facebook there. Yes, I see it, but you have to pay for stars. Oh, that is so stupid. Oh my God. Facebook, you know, I guess they're just trying to, trying to earn a buck any way that they can. So 
Anyway, all right, so teaser alert. Got some good little lawn fawn in here that I can't quite show you. That's exciting. And it says here, keep this secret until December 15th. So, cost money to send stars. That is so dumb. So, I'm going to dis disable the, the star thing. Well, I guess in case... I guess in case somebody wants to pay for stars, maybe I'll just let it on there. I don't know. That is so dumb. So, sorry about that, friends. You don't have to send me stars because if there's a fee, that's just that's just dumb. Um, and I also have in person a little mini book that Sean made for me to display that uses the um, envelope gatefold flip folio. So these, this is one of the folios that will fit inside the 49 and Market books, okay? But they also make great little books on their own. So again, this is the envelope gatefold flip folio in white. We also have it in black. 310 stars for six bucks. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I tell you. I guess it's not not bad but what's what's the point of stars i i don't quite get it so anyway so let's check out this adorable little book that she made so it's going to open up she added a little card there it does come with magnets so it does have a magnet closure that she added that came with it and then we're going to open it again we first flip it open we've got a fun little um, I don't want to call it a waterfall. It's just a flip up page. And this is here and it can be unfolded again. There we go. So we got a nice little page here that can be unfolded again. And then she's got just some fun right here, little mats and sticks the little mat in here. How cute is this? So this one here now, so this unfolded all the way. All right says send 200 stars to pin your post here so crazy all right well at least now i know kind of the, the scar the stars is kind of a scam i don't know but maybe you know for big youtubers or i guess big facebook people they'll probably get a bunch of stars who knows all right so then this one here all right flips out and it has a fun little gatefold in it is that not cool? Awesome, awesome. So I can close that back up. And then we have another little gate fold that pops up like so. And then this whole thing pops up and you've got another little flip page in here. This is so cool. Oh, oh, so Gina, I will go back to your, your um, question here in just a second. So this is such a fun little book. And remember, like I said, these can go inside of the 49 and Market, bigger kind of um, cardboard, chipboard books that they make. But I want you guys to see that these make great little books all on their own even all by themselves all right so miss gina where's the other magnet so one magnet is right here and then when it closes the other one is right underneath this paper here okay like i can feel it right in here so whenever you are building the book you just kind of have to be a little um i mean not really strategic but you just need to know how you want to kind of finish it so you know where to place your magnets basically and i usually kind of wait to do my cover at the end and then that way i can do that depending on how thick my book ends up getting so then you know once my book is done i'm ready for my cover um i've got this all kind of ready and what i do is i don't glue my magnets down yet um, i may use a little bit of temporary adhesive right here and then um that way i can line up I put my other magnet on top so temporary adhesive magnet one and then you can kind of stick the paper on top just so you know and then put the other magnet right on top like it's already stuck to it with glue and then bring this down 
like that and it will pick up that glue and then whenever you pull it apart now you know exactly where this magnet needs to go I, I hope that makes sense it's you know whenever I'm teaching that te technique in class it's kind of easy because you can see it but it's almost like you want to just set it up uh, before you permanent glue it that way you know exactly where you want them to be so they match up really nice instead of guessing I guess is what I'm saying so makes sense yay all right perfect so that was a fun little um, sample that came into the store the other day that I hadn't shown you guys yet and that is using the winter chalet line from photo play so there is that and then finally finally we are checking in honeybee and honeybee will be ready to go for me to show you guys tomorrow so lots of fun great things in this box for tomorrow's live so that's going to be tomorrow's live right there it's going to be honeybee and whatever else comes in and today you guys got to check out echo park and then also our favorite canadian distributor that always has super super cool stuff so all right okay everybody well that is all that I've got for you guys tonight. Um, thanks for sticking with me. I'm looking at what time it was. We were on quite a bit longer than what I thought. Um, a little bit about me, because I know sometimes I just tell you guys everything that's going on in my life, because, I mean, well, why not? Some days, you guys are the only friends I get to talk to. <laughs> anyway, the boys. Um, so Connor is home right now from college, and he's destroying my house. If anyone has that messy, you know, college student or you've had that message call messy college students, you know exactly what I mean. It's like, you know, I'm not saying that Caden and Connie are, are super neat, but Connor is just, he's a different bird. Oh my gosh. It's like, you know, he leaves a trail so I can, I know when he's home because I, I walk in and there's, there's a shoe here and another shoe here, um, a bag, and then like keys randomly thrown where, wherever and then he can't ever find his keys and he wonders why um and then i uh, googled it as the watchers by the stars i also get a penny per star i receive <laughs> so that you know i that makes sense because well it kind of makes sense because it even asked like for my tax information and i was like why do i need to give him my tax information and i just said oh i'll do all that later so that that makes sense then so i bet for some i mean yeah i mean for me no but i guess maybe for you know people that do a lot of content maybe you know that's how they're gonna pay for it i don't know but but i wondered because i did ask for all of my tax information whenever i did that and i was just and you could also you could set up you could enable your stars and then save all that other stuff for later so i just saved everything for later i set up my stars put in my business name because it came up as soon as i tried to go on live um it had this new thing so yeah that, that so i wonder when we when you do the math how much Facebook makes. I probably need to be really careful because you know they have all those weird, you know, how they profile you. It's kind of like whenever you talk about ketchup and then all you see are advertisements for ketchup. So if I'm talking bad about Facebook right now, I will probably, you know, have some kind of thing tomorrow that says I've done some kind of copyright infringement or something and they're shutting my account down for a few days. But um, it will be interesting to do the math to see how much they're making off the stars. And, yeah. Hmm. I'll have to do that math. Huh. Curious Facebook. Very, very curious. So, anyway, tomorrow we will look at Honeybee. Um, I think what else? Oh, yeah. And then, like I said, crazy, crazy stuff at my house. But the twins are almost done and almost on winter break. Caden or Connor is home right now um getting ready to move move home because he's switching schools he he graduates um he's not walking but he graduates with his associates because he just went to a, a two-year junior college is where he started out yet and he's so he got his associates in a year and a half which i think is pretty cool um so we're we're working on working on that because i already told him he cannot um sleep on my couch or like he I shouldn't say that he has a bedroom so i shouldn't put it that, that way but he is not living with me next semester he needs to continue to grow and become his own man and his own person so so yeah so my house is definitely getting a little bit crazier a little wilder right now we have no food 
even though I just went to the grocery store, I don't know where it all goes, but all the food has disappeared. Um, and so right as soon as I get off of here, I'm going to close down the register and, and then go grocery shopping for the like second time in a week and uh, buy them more food. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that's the story of my life. I work um, and then I, I, I feed kids. Yes, that's, that's me. I work and I feed kids, as many of you do too. So, all right, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in tonight and sticking with me and checking out what is new with the doodle bug in Jasper, Indiana. And until next time, friends, I am Hannah. You can always look us up online at www.thedoodlebugging.com. If you saw anything you loved in the video, I asked you to go back and replay it. If you jumped in in the middle, um, just let me know in the comments and we will get it pulled for you. And then tomorrow, we will um, hit you back with a got it. That way you know that we've got it pulled for you. So until next time, thank you so much. If um, Hopefully I see you tomorrow, but if not, have a Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye.